So today we get to take a look at a completely revamped product by Cooler Master, a company who is producing some of the hottest cases on the market right now. What we have is the Cooler Master Storm Sniper, which we've seen before, but now it's coming with a bit of a twist. The case is now a black edition, which means a black paint job inside and out, as well as sort of a few other treats. The case is the replacement to the original, so it comes in at roughly the same price and it can be found on store shelves now. The body is constructed out of solid steel and there's plastic accents on the top, bottom and front with steel to reinforce the handles. And one thing that's very unique is that Cooler Master has managed to get away with putting a lot of plastic on the case without hurting the aesthetics or really diving into the cheap and flimsy category. And because of all the extra molding on the outside, it does increase the physical dimensions of the case. It's 22 inches long, 10 inches wide and just under 22 inches high. It also weighs in at 23 and a half pounds. So it isn't especially light, but it is very solid. At the top of the case, we have our rather large power button, a dial to adjust the 200 millimeter fans throughout the case, and then an LED on off button. There's four USB ports and Firewire, then eSATA, audio, and activity LEDs. There's five external drive bays on the front with filters and an LED 200 millimeter fan at the bottom. The case comes in two varieties. The one has a mesh side panel as seen here with another giant 200 millimeter LED fan. However, there is a windowed version, but it comes without the fan. At the back, we have our tube holes, a 120 millimeter exhaust fan, IO area on the side, a vertical PCI slot along with seven expansion slots, a second section for tubing, and then your bottom mounted power supply. The case stands on raised feet, which can be rotated on a 90 degree angle. Now there's also a ton of venting on the bottom in order to reduce the dust intake inside the case. The dust filter for the front 200 millimeter fan easily snaps in and out, making cleaning very simple. In taking the side panel off, the major change to the case is the interior is black. Now this has been something that many higher end cases and even a few mid range cases have quickly adopted in the past year. So Cooler Master is sort of playing a little bit of catch up, but it looks really good. At the bottom back of the case, we have the spot for a power supply, which will sit raised. There's also space for a 120 millimeter intake fan with a dust filter, so it's easy to clean and it snaps in, so it's screwless. There's also the front hard drive bays, which use the Cooler Master screwless system. And then above that, the traditional Cooler Master screwless CD-ROM drive bays. At the back, there's a horizontal PCI Express slot, which actually has clips in order to run wires. Uh, there's a 120 millimeter exhaust fan and then the CPU backplate opening. At the top, there's a 200 millimeter LED exhaust fan. And as you can see, they have included spacing for wiring as well as a CPU cooler backplate opening. The drive bays are all inset as well to allow for more cable storage. And as you'll see with the back panel, it isn't flat. Most of it has been pushed out and this is what gives you so much room to run wires. For accessories, there's a few unknowns. We have a labeled bag of screws, an SSD bracket, and 3.5 to 5 and a quarter inch rails as well as optional rubber feet if you want to replace the rotating ones at the bottom and then tubing rubber grommets. And one thing we noticed when we first opened up the unit is that Cooler Master has included one of their new sniper mouse pads. Now this thing is very nice. It's got a rubber base bottom and cloth top and it's something you'd normally pay a pretty penny for. But they've included it for free and it hasn't altered the price of the case. They've used their typical Cooler Master hard drive mounting system which takes a plastic bracket where you put the hard drive in and it fits in and clamps tight. It's very solid and it holds the drives in well. The other great thing about this case is that it will fit the new ATI5870 video cards which are 11 inches long and there's room to spare. The one thing we were a little concerned about is that the case uses plastic retention clips for the video card but unlike some other poorly manufactured cases these clips are very secure and they're going to hold the video card in without the need for screws. I found that wiring the case was incredibly easy, mainly due to the enormous space in behind the motherboard tray where you can store all the wires. It can keep everything clean, you can have great airflow, and you can make it look really nice. When putting the back panel on, it fits over top of all the wires in the back without a lot of fuss or hassle. You won't be able to have a clump like we have here, but if you spread it out a bit, it's really hassle-free. Now as you can imagine, airflow in the case is not a problem. You have the front 200mm fan as well as on the side as the intake points. 
and then you have the 200 millimeter and 120 at the back end top as the exhaust points. There's also the optional 120 millimeter down at the bottom. Now with all this air being moved around, the big question is what are the temperatures like? So we took a look and here are the numbers. Now given that the Sniper has a little bit of a different design, it does make it a difficult task to find where you can put a radiator. However, Cooler Master has included a space inside to mount a dual 120mm rad. You'll have to take out the top 200mm fan to fit it, but if you replace the fans, you shouldn't lose too much airflow. And so that wraps up our look at the Cooler Master Storm Sniper. Now as far as positives go for the case, there really is a whole slew of things that we like. And keep in mind, you're paying about $150 for this case, so it's very reasonably priced for what you get. Um, first and foremost is the excellent airflow. You have the three 200mm fans and you have the adjustable fan dial, so if you're more of a person that likes a quieter system and you still want that great airflow, you can have it. And then if you're somebody who's willing to trade off noise for better airflow and better temperatures, you can have that as well. And along with that, it also has excellent cable management. You're able to tuck the wires up in behind and make a really clean looking system. Blue Masters made this a very, very solid build. They've used a lot of plastic on it, but it's very solid plastic. It's not flimsy and bendy, and all of the metal is very rigid. The motherboard tray is very sturdy, and everything just feels well built. Now the only thing that could really be seen as a negative for this case is the way it looks. For those that like more of these box style standard square cases, um, the rounded edges and funky design may not be for you. However, personally I really like the look of this case. They went with a sniper theme and I think they really captured that. So that's it for the Hardware Connects product showcase on the Cooler Master Storm Sniper. Now if you like what you saw or you want to comment, leave feedback, etc, just do that in the YouTube comments. Also don't forget to hit that little yellow subscribe button in order to receive future video updates. And check out www.hardwareconnects.com for all the latest technology news and reviews. Thanks for watching.